Excellent. There you go. 3.8 kilograms. So this is very helpful because the size of the bills helps us to determine the, the sex. So this is definitely a male. Pablo Barbaroglu is working on penguin conservation in the Patagonia region of South America. And there are a lot of penguins to keep track of. These are Magellanic penguins. They come to temper Patagonia during breeding season to nest on the beach. But penguins aren't the only creatures out here. The biodiversity in this area is composed by fantastic species like penguins, killer whales, right whales, and you have also animals on land like pumas, foxes, armadillos for instance, and all those species, they interact together in the ocean or on land. Wherever you are in the world, biodiversity refers to the different living organisms within an area land, or sea. From the largest mammals to the smallest plants. The easiest way to measure biodiversity is to count the total number of species living in one location. The more species, the greater the biodiversity. This is very important for an ecosystem because when you have a lot of species, all the species are connected to each other and that makes the environment stronger and really healthy. Because when there is an impact, all these organisms interact and they can buffer that impact and the environment can resist better those threats. Natural disasters and human-induced threats, including climate change, all impact the level of biodiversity. When the biodiversity within an area shifts, then the system weakens because they cannot resist the impacts or of some threats. You lose components, there are less neighbors and they interact less. So if there is an impact, all the ecosystem is more affected by that. Take these penguins, for example. Vegetation provides cover and protection for their nests. And the penguins in turn enrich the land with their nutrient-rich feces, or guano. By monitoring changes in the penguins, Pablo can get a good idea of how an ecosystem is functioning overall. Penguins are excellent sentinels of the ocean. If there is an oil spill, they swim so they cross the, the oil spills and then they, they die. If there is a lack of food, we see that in our colonies as well. They are sampling the ocean for us and then they come back on land with the information. And lately, the level of biodiversity in the area is at risk. What is happening now is that human beings with our activities, we are posing a lot of threats to the wildlife. But very quickly, not in evolutionary time, not in millions of years. In a very few hundred years, we are changing all the environment and all the conditions. So this species has to adapt quickly. And some of them, they cannot do that quickly. Through conservation and education, Pablo hopes at-risk populations can bounce back. And the more species, the better. When you go to these places, you can really see the biodiversity. You understand the concept of biodiversity. And you see them all interacting. Some of these colonies are all covered by different species of, of seabirds. And when they go into the ocean, you see the penguins interacting with the dolphins, eating the anchovies, and then you have petrels and albatrosses. We have to respect it. and We have to make sure that we can secure the conditions for them to, to thrive.